Happy New Year, everyone. I am so excited to welcome 2015. I have a feeling it is going to be an absolutely incredible year and I can't wait to share it with all of you. Now, to be honest, I was a little decadent over the holidays, so I've made it my New Year's resolution to get back on track and start eating well. And I've created a couple new great series ideas for the month of January to help me do that. And hopefully you will find them as inspiring as I do. Now, the first is called my 30 day smoothie challenge, and it's gonna be happening entirely on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, head on over to the Domestic Geek One. I'm gonna be sharing a brand new smoothie recipe every single day day of January. The second series is going to be all about healthy weekly meal prep. Now, a few months ago, I posted a weekly meal prep video and you guys seem to love it and you've been asking for more ever since. So every Thursday through the month of January, I'm going to share a new weekly meal prep video to get you inspired for the week to come. Basically, this is a way to do all of your cooking on Sunday and set yourself up for success the entire week. You'll also be able to find all the shopping lists on the domesticgeek.com. So once you're done watching this video, head over there and you can just print out the shopping list, take them with you to the grocery store, and boom, you are ready for the week. The star of the show this week will be these beautiful salmon fillets. Now I'm just gonna create a really basic marinade for them and bake them in the oven. It could not be simpler. I'm basically combining some olive oil, a little bit of fresh lemon juice, some garlic, and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna whisk this together really, really well and pour it over my salmon and fillets. And we're gonna let these sit for 15 or 20 minutes so they can absorb all of that deliciousness. In the meantime, I'm going to get started on my rice. Now I'm using some brown and wild rice so it takes just a little bit longer to cook, about 30 to 40 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is combine the rice and some vegetable stock with a little bit of garlic in a pot. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then once it's reached a boil, I'm gonna turn the heat down to low, put the lid on and let it simmer for 30 to 40 minutes or until it's soft and delicious. While my rice is simmering away, I'm going to put my salmon in the oven at 350 degrees. We're looking for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the salmon is completely opaque all the way through. In the meantime, I'm going to get started on wilting my spinach. All I'm going to do is in a frying pan, heat up some olive oil, add a little bit of garlic, and then in goes my spinach. I'm gonna put the lid on and allow it to wilt completely. Once it's done, I'm just gonna put it in a container, let it cool, and then I can eat it for lunch and dinner all week long. Now, I think it is really important when you're doing weekly meal prep to make a nice big salad that will last all week long. That way, when you're feeling peckish, you'll reach for that instead of some potato chips or cookies. Basically, for this salad, the secret is not to use any lettuce because lettuce will just not hold up to a dressing all week long. So I've got some beautiful cherry tomatoes standing by into that. I'm just gonna add some gorgeous pepper. I love bell peppers, they're so delicious. And some Kalamata olives, which add like a beautiful saltiness to this. And then we're just gonna add a few cubes of feta. And when I say a few, I mean like a lot. Some olive oil, a little bit of white wine vinegar for some acidity, some salt, some pepper, and my favorite homemade Greek seasoning. Next up, I'm going to prep my raw veggies. Now, these are great to have on hand when you're having a snack attack. So this week, I'm going to be prepping some carrots, some zucchini, and a little bit of cauliflower. Next up, I'm going to prep my fruit. This week, it's going to be some pineapple and some mango. And don't sweat it, if you can't finish all of this fruit within the week, you can totally freeze it for smoothies next week. Finally, I'm going to make one of my very favorite snacks. It's a super simple trail mix, and it's perfect when you have a case of the munchies. So in a large bowl, I'm just combining some almonds, some walnuts, some cranberries, and some raisins. It's as simple as that. I really hope you find this weekly meal prep helpful. And remember, all of the shopping lists and recipes are listed in the description box below. All you need to do is click the show more button. They'll also be posted on thedomesticgeek.com, so be sure to check them out there. And if you give them a try, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more weekly meal prep where this came from.